Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Um, time for my pseudo cast, and uh, this is gonna be my second attempt. Um, I tried to do I tried to do one here a few minutes ago, but uh, I just made made too many bad calls on it. It just wasn't coming out right, so I just went ahead and uh, killed it and started over. So, and this tune here, again, this is just something I whipped up. Um, I think it was in one of my uh, one of my playlists. So, but again, since um. I'm kind of running out of time here, so I just had to pick the first thing that came up. This is Old Tower in Sacred Dominions from the Dark Outlands, so old school dungeon synth. And um, this one here, I've never heard before, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but let me turn it down a bit. kind of sound testing it right now. Alright, I'll just I'll just leave it as is. If it gets too obscenely loud, then um I'll go ahead and turn it down. Oh, there it goes. Okay, but anyway, um second attempt, yeah I tried to I tried, I tried doing this on my first attempt, but uh, um, t in summation of it, I spent a lot of my, a lot of my night just watching uh various political videos. Um, just some uh, just uh, a new channel or two that I discovered. Um, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go too deep in this. One, um, I only have roughly 15 minutes. I could probably, I mean, I could probably go all day. Uh, but secondly. It's probably probably gonna be stuff that most people have already heard before, you know. You know, capitalist country, you know, pretty bad when five percent of the population owns ninety percent of the wealth or whatever the stats were, massive power imbalance. So, you know, and um, so you know, and uh, we should we should practice socialism or whatever. Yeah, I think socialism is supposed to be the uh, the next political system we should all do. Kind of like, you know, it's it's almost like it's almost like I'm playing Civilization or something. You know, kind of a kind of a neat concept, but uh, again, I don't want to go too in depth with it. Just, it was one of the reasons why I why I shit can the last attempt. It just, I got part way in. I'm like, I can't do it. This is, it's kind of it's kind of my uh kind of my problem with uh trying to listen to philosophers. In fact, now that I remember, I. Um, streaming yesterday, I tried uh, for the background music. I tried playing a guy named Alan Watts. He's a philosopher, and uh, the main reason um, I kind of got inspired to listen to him during my stream yesterday. Um, I first heard him playing a game called Everything. It's just your, you can, you, it's just um, it's kind of a sandbox game where you can be anything and everything. Like you could be a you can be a you can be one single bacteria to to a planet or to a cosmos or you know to a Milky Way or stuff like that but you can basically be everything uh, but uh, you could also pick up uh, audio clips of uh, Alan Watts talking so it it was just a brainstorm I had at the time I thought hmm, maybe I should play this guy during my stream since I'll, I'm streaming city skylines these days so nothing real super duper action intensive but again, it, it just got to where, when it comes to philosophers and you know, guys who guys who uh, really go who really go deep, like as far as you know, like be, you know being deep, intellectual, philosophical, whatnot. Guys like them to me are better read than said. It's like I have to actually, I'd have to actually you know read read the transcript rather than try to listen to this. So it just. It just ended up like that on my stream yesterday. So. Um. But, oh, 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 yeah. And, uh. Actually, I was going to try to do a pinball tournament yesterday. I found out that they had a local one. Uh, it, it, I've talked about this before. The bowling alley that I played pinball at a few times. Where the tables are like super duper expensive, and even then they're not all, not all of them, not all of them are maintained properly. 
yeah, they um they have pinball tournaments there. I actually looked at the times and I'm like, nope. It start uh, like the like the qualifying round starts between like 2:30 in the afternoon to five in the evening. That's that. I mean, that's like right around the time I wake up. Right around the time I wake up, and then it it just would have been a major pain in the butt. Got to set my alarm for. Set it for like noon or one or whatever, basically depriving myself of sleep just to get to the place like right at two o'clock to start start the tournament and it, it just not worth it. It's too bad too though. If they would have um if they would have moved the time back to like around like to like at five PM starting, I mean yeah, I probably could have done it. You know, just um Tell everybody, hey, no stream today. Got a pinball tournament to do. But nope, didn't happen that way. So. And um, on top of that, too, they have uh, the tournaments they do are monthly. The first Sunday and the first Saturday of every month. And these are my nights off. So it would have worked out beautifully, if not for the times. So. Oh, and I forgot to mention... I'm having a V8 energy drink, uh, or let me let me say it in the microphone. I'm having a V8 energy drink, peach mango flavored. So. But, but uh, I have, but just like I have been doing. I'm. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, and I'm 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 just thinking about this now. Um. My um, my constantly playing City Skylines, even off stream, I'm I'm beginning I'm beginning to think that maybe I really need to take a layoff from that game. Cause like I said, it's getting to where I'm even playing it like off stream. I'm playing it all night. I mean, I mean, I love playing. I mean, I love playing uh, Sim City type games, or uh, you know, City Builder type games. So, but um, I'm I'm ho I've. I've been doing this in the hopes that it'll pa it'll it'll just be a phase that'll pass over me. But I mean, I'm still. I mean, to this day, I'm still playing. You know, again, I'm still playing it off stream, playing it all night, etc. Um, I did try to break the I tried to break the habit by uh, I tried to do a pinball session, but I was such ass that I just I didn't even bother uh, uploading the video. I just deleted it. I also tried playing a game. Another game that I used to stream called Hades. It's like um, I think it's called an action roguelike or something like that. But played it for um, did did like a run or two, but it just got to where I couldn't do it. So, but again, otherwise um, but otherwise most of my uh, most of my time has been spent watching all political videos, and. And again, like I, I said this on my first attempt, but this is just a phase. Um, I'll have these phases where I'll get really into philosophy and politics, but uh, it usually only lasts like maybe a day or two. Then after that, I go off and watch other stuff. So, just like the moon, I have my phases. But but again, it, I think I tried to say this on my last attempt, um, but yeah, it. It's pretty obvious if you've uh, heard any of my other casts, or if you've uh, if you've actually taken a look at the world around you. Yeah, this country is pretty well fucked. Um, it's just the just the capitalist system. You know, five. I think it's like five percent of the five percent of the population has ninety percent of the wealth. So an enormous power imbalance. And from what I hear other people say, socialism is the way to go. So, but, but yeah, like, but like I said, um, I'll probably watch more of these for a while. But after about a day or two, um, it'll probably the phase will have washed over me, and I'll be um, watch, I'll be, I'll be uh, into other stuff. So, oh, but uh, one thing I do want to say though, um. Probably one of the biggest reasons why all of my videos are Creative Commons videos is for uh, the same reason that uh, Jonah Salk, the guy who came up with the polio vaccine, 
um, I didn't know this. This is one thing I did learn from one of those videos. He never, he never copyrighted, he never copyrighted his vaccine. Like, his vaccine was was basically a Creative Commons vaccine. It's free to, it's free for everybody to use. Like he didn't, he never monetized this. So it was, it, I thought this this was definitely one takeaway I got from all the videos. So um. So yeah, not er, you know. Not everybody, not everybody that uh, that comes up with new new inventions want their shit to be monetized or they, they don't want to make money off of it. I'm the same way. All my videos, I don't... Oh, excuse me. Hold on. But yeah, I don't... I mean, none of my videos, I don't want to monetize, especially considering that when I, if I did want to monetize, I would have to... They would have to stick ads all over them. Which, you know, with... And again, for those that have heard my other cast, I fucking hate ads. I even consider stuff like watermarks and uh, the don't forget to like and subscribe for great content. I even consider that shit to be a type of ad as well. Basically, if they're annoying and obnoxious, I want nothing to do with them. But uh, if this is if if this is uh, part and parcel to having your videos monetized, then I want nothing to do with them. I mean. Even and even for my uh, even for my favorite YouTube channels like Emperor Lemon, even for somebody like him, the moment I the moment I get an inkling that he's about to that he's about to stick an ad in there, I skip it. But it, but he's one of the rare ones though. His or to me his content is so good that I'll skip those ads just to listen to his his actual stuff. But most other most other stuff I watch, they're not they're not worthy of that. I mean, if you're uh, if your videos are just merely watchable, the moment I see uh, an ad of some kind, I'm gone. So, but uh, but again, it's all it's one of the re. Oh, uh, let me rewind here for a moment. For those that don't know what Creative Commons is, um, it's actually a nonprofit company. It's basically saying that um. You're you're kind of you're kind of signing an agreement with them, saying that all of your works are free to use. And there's varying degrees of it too, like with me, like with me, and with uh with YouTube, um, you can uh you can choose whether to have your videos monetized or free to or uh or free to use. It again, Creative Commons. Um, but it um, what uh limitation for lack of a better word is called um, attribution like a, as long you, all you gotta do is credit the original artist the original uploader you know in this case being me but this is something I probably would have said too even without this uh, attribution tag you know I mean all of my stuff is free to use you know do whatever you want with it listen to it as much as you want all I ask is you med you you at least credit the original source, me. So, but yeah, that it's again. It, I did this for kind of the same reason that uh, Jonah Salk didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, trademark his polio vaccine. He wanted the world to use it. He wanted the world to use it freely. You know. So yeah, that was. I mean, that was my same reason for my videos. You know, and then from what uh, from what I've heard, Emperor Lemon, and I think other YouTubers as well. I can't remember their names off the top of my head, but uh, when uh, when YouTube first came out, I I wasn't uh, I wasn't too heavily into YouTube back in the back in the 2000s and 2010s, but uh. I'm I'm trying to rack my brain here, but uh, basically back then, uh, before before the content ID system came into came into place, it was pretty much the wild west. Just the good old days really were good old days, you know. You know you weren't, you know you weren't you weren't you weren't cutting and pasting you know parts of other videos onto your own. Um, 
they were, I believe they were called YouTube poops. Like some of these uh, YouTubers back then were making like remixes of various other videos. Just it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain, but just uh, totally cut up edits, that kind of thing. Just making all like parody videos. You'd probably have to go on Google and look it up. It's, it's hard for me to explain, but way back then. People are a lot more freer to do stuff like this. Oh, it's kind of back. That it just hit me. Um, the early days of YouTube were kind of like the early days of rap. Everybody was sampling everything. And then at some point, I think like in the late '80s, uh, one of the big wig music companies started suing various rap artists for copyright infringement. So you know, wanting royalties and all that. So after that, um, sampling was kept to a minimum. A lot of it was just boring old James Brown stuff, you know, or you know, popular, you know, popular stuff, royalty free, you know, etc. You know, basically, really, uh, really neutered the innovation in uh, old school rap. So kind of the same thing here. In fact, yeah, I think uh, Emperor Lemon did a, he did an actual video about this. Um, what a when a big uh, TV company called Viacom, Viacom actually tried suing YouTube for uh, for copyright infringement because uh, because of all the all the like the I think The Simpsons was a Viacom show I think, but stuff like that. So because of that, YouTube had a had to create a content ID system. Yeah, it, it's it, and it's pretty much become the bane of my existence, and it's also become one of the reasons why um why I stream the way I stream, why I I do the kind of things that I do when you know posting up content and whatnot, and uh, it's also one of the reasons why you're hearing um you're hearing dungeon synth music because um because very rarely does uh does YouTube's content ID system flag this for copyright and uh and I kind of lost my place here hold on um damn it I totally forgot my train of thought Oh, well, bas well, basically, since uh, since I total, since my mind's a total blank right now, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, there was this whole whole line of thinking that I was gonna put, I was gonna, I was gonna put out. But basically, um, just long story short, um, all of my works are free to use for the same reason that Jonas Salk didn't patent his polio vaccine. He, he wanted everybody to use it, you know. There's a, for lack of a better word, maybe because we're, we're selfless when it comes to our content. You know, we don't want to lock our stuff behind a paywall or anything like that. Or, I guess another way of looking at it is, uh, I don't like, I don't like putting people through what I've been through. Like, um, again, I probably said this in other, uh, pseudocast videos, but, um, just... I'm one of those that, the moment I see a, a fifth, or the moment I see an ad at the start of a video, I refresh it. I'll hit F5. I'm this kind of person. Like if it's more often than not, it's often a, it's often a 15 second ad. But I do this for five second ads too, like the stuff they place at the very start of the videos. I used to sit there and hit F5 over and 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 over. And over. Until that, you know, until I get to see the video without any ads in it at all. I mean, I have, I've subscribed to YouTube Premium, so it's um, ad-free viewing. But before then, this is me, F5, 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 F5. 
you know, just keep doing that until I can watch a video without ads. I don't want to put somebody else through what I've gone through on that. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why when I, when I upload a video on YouTube, if it gets flagged for copyright, I delete it immediately. Because that means when it gets flagged for copyright, that means ads get stuck all over it. I don't want to put somebody else through that. So... Because I'm pretty sure there's, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people out there that find ads like that to be a major inconvenience to them. You know, and especially in this day and age with the internet, you know, we're a lot more savvy now. We're, you know, we basically have infinite knowledge at our fingertips. Ads are pretty much unnecessary now. If I, you know, if I gave enough of two shits to want to learn, to want to find out about deodorant. I'll just go on Google and type down best deodorant. I don't need some I don't need a damn 15 second ad on a video telling me about this. You know. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to watch I mean, you know, I'm going to watch a video about committing suicide and they stick a fucking deodorant ad on it, you know, that kind of thing. So Um but anyway, since so uh it feels like I'm kind of rambling on here and it, and it looks like this video or this uh, video here is almost over. Um, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, but otherwise, hey, if you man if you manage to stick with me this far, thank you know thanks a bunch for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, I know I've probably been incoherent here throughout this entire time. So, but otherwise, again, I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Um, Thanks again for stopping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 and, and, um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, so, so, yeah, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming around, and see you all next time.